chair recognizes Speaker Pro Tem Chatfield. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm proud to stand here this morning and advocate on behalf of House Bill 4001 because any day you have the opportunity to put more money back into the pockets of hardworking families and taxpayers across our state is a good day. Fortunately, for the people of the state of Michigan, today is that day. Over the past six years, under the leadership of Governor Snyder and his partnership with this legislature, we've experienced rapid job growth in the private sector. Our unemployment has been cut in half, and our economy and population are finally growing again. Over that same time frame, our budget has grown by $6 billion, and it's projected that we're sitting again on yet another budget surplus. This, however, was certainly not the condition of our state back in 2007. Under the Granholm administration, we were facing budget deficits. We were facing potential government shutdowns. And in order to make ends meet, the state of Michigan raised the taxes on the hardworking families and taxpayers of this state just a little much, just a little bit, so we could pay our bills. But in that legislation was a promise. That promise was that their income tax would be reduced back to 3.9 when economic times were better, when our budget was healthier. Yet, Mr. Speaker, that promise was broken, as we are all aware. Now, I'm excited about this legislation for two main reasons. First, this delivers on a promise that was made to the people of this state by a previous administration. Though none of us that are currently serving in this legislature were serving during that time and made that promise, I believe it's our duty to ensure that the people of this state receive the tax relief that they were promised. Not only is this good policy, but this is the right policy. Because in government, there is nothing as important as keeping your word to the people. Secondly, this bill allows our hardworking families and taxpayers who are living paycheck to paycheck to keep more of their hard-earned dollars in their pockets. If as a state, we're going to ask the people of our state to pay just a little bit more to us when economic times are tough and when our budget is struggling. It is only the right and responsible thing to do to look to give some of that back when our budget is healthy. Because it's important for all of us to remember in this chamber, this is not the government's money. This is the people's money. This vote will allow every single worker in the state of Michigan to experience tax relief. This will provide each citizen more buying power in their pockets to invest into their local economy and spend the money how they see fit so they can make ends meet. This will allow our moms and dads who are working two jobs just to pay their bills, to have a little bit more money in their pocket so they can get by. This will allow our seniors across our state who are living on fixed incomes to capture more of what they have already earned and what they have already worked for. This will make Michigan a more attractive place for seniors to come retire here. This will allow our children and our grandchildren to move back to Michigan and raise their families here because they can finally afford it. And while there's a lot of rhetoric when it comes to tax policy on perhaps both sides of the aisle. What I am pleased about, Mr. Speaker, is in a short moment, that board is going to provide every single one of you an opportunity to finally prove what you believe. If you're serving in this chamber today and you believe that the hardworking men and women of this state 
deserve to keep more of their paycheck, I've got good news for you. You get to vote yes. If you're here today serving in this chamber and you believe that government should keep the promises that they made to the people, I've got good news for you too. You get to vote yes. The time for talk is over. The board will soon prove who's fighting for the working men and women of this state. And I encourage all my colleagues to support House Bill 4001. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Speaker Pro Tem Chatfield.